Hello guys, welcome to the channel and today we're going to be solving this interesting problem here. This is a fourth degree uh, equation and it's a complete one. So we're going to solve this to find the values of x. Please don't forget to tell me in the comment what you will do to solve this problem. And please subscribe to the channel because 90% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribers. Please help, help this channel grow, okay? So as we can see here, if I plug zero here, zero is I mean, zero is not a root for this equation. So I'm going to divide both sides by x squared because x equal to zero is not a root of this equation. So making some simplifications here, we're going to have this one. And then I'm just going to write this one, which is square, with this one here. And this is which one, which is x with this one here. So we're going to get this one. Okay. Okay, cool. And then, well, I'm just going to write this. 16 is, is 4 square. And then we're going to get this one. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to write this as this one, right? And then from here, I'm going to factor out 5 here. This is 5x minus 5 times 4 is 20, right? So, and now this one here, completing the square here, we're just going to have x plus 4 over x square minus 8, right? So just completing square and taking 8 out, we're going to have this one here, right? So, well, and now we can see here that we can still make something. So we're going to organize these terms here. Now we have a quadratic equation in terms of x plus uh, 4 over x, right? So you can make a substitution here and say x plus 4 over x equals to y and then solve the, the, the quadratic equation and then find the value of, of these expressions. But I'm going to solve it directly. So we're going to say that to solve this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, which is this one here, and then b is equal to 5, and then c is equal to 1. And we are solving in terms of x plus 4 over x. So then from here, we got this one, right? So the first solution, taking 4 plus... I mean, taking x plus 4 over plus x plus 4 over x, right? The first solution is this one, and the second solution is this one. So now we're going to take the first one here and solve this equation, right, to find the value of x, right? So from here, finding a common denominator here, we're going to have this one, right? This times this, and then this is just basic stuff here, and then we're going to have this one, right? Quadratic equation, guys, I'm not going to... Like stress, like uh, I mean, not, it's not stress because this the goal of of this channel is solving math problems. But um, in this case here, we have a quadratic equation, and we we can just simplify some step and write the answer for this. And then from here, we're gonna have x one equals negative b, which is this one here, which is gonna be positive, right, divided by two, and then this one to this to the power of two here minus four times um ac right so uh, uh, after some simplifications we're gonna get to this one so these are imaginary solutions right so and then let's get to, let's go to the second one which is this one here so the second one is this one here and then we're gonna have this one here remember that we say in the beginning we considering x is not being a zero for this equation okay so and then from here we're gonna have x3 equals to this and x4 equals to this. Beautiful solutions, guys. And then you can see that these are real solutions, right? Okay, guys. And then to finish for this equation, the answers are this one. So we have three real solutions, two real solutions, and two imaginary solutions. Please, please, I'm asking you, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications button. And then see you next video. Bye-bye.